After yesterday's by-election results, Pakistan Tariq and Saf turned the tables on Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz, snatching Punjab in a stunning landslide victory. Unofficial results showed PTI securing 15 seats, while the PMLN managed to win only four and an independent candidate securing one. They say whoever claims Punjab makes a federal government. Sunday's by-polls on 20-seat Punjab Assembly has brought PTI at the centre of power again. In this episode of Spotlight, we asked senior PTI leader Asad Umar about the Imran Khan-led party strategy moving forward. Pervezalai is our senior candidate. There's no confusion about that. Heavy bias. Not just a bias, but a blatant heavy bias. This is despite what they did, not because of what they did. So it has become a norm now. Absolutely crystal clear, black and white laws are ignored by election commission, they give judgments against us, then we have to go to the courts and the courts then overturn the decisions taken by the ECP. It's become like a routine now. It's not a question of our plans. Uh, I mean, look, look at what's happening to the rupee right now in the market. It's trading between 215 and 217. It's in a free fall. The country is paying a very, very steep economic cost. There is tremendous pain being inflicted on the people of Pakistan. This uh, experiment has gone totally wrong and it's about time that the plug was pulled on this. How long will you continue to be stubborn and hang on to something which is obviously completely failed and, and, and is causing so much pain for the people of Pakistan? Ab absolutely. So this is what we have been saying throughout the election also. This is not a by-election. This is not about the candidate. This is frankly not even about the Punjab government, although obviously directly the Punjab government was at stake. This is about who the people of Pakistan want to be governed by and even more importantly, what the people of Pakistan think in terms of the status quo which has prevailed unfortunately for decades now, where the powerful get together in closed rooms, often in collaboration with uh, offshore powers and decide what's going to happen in Pakistan and take the big decisions about the country. Or is it going to be a Pakistan where only the will of the people decides where the country is going to go? And, and that's what the vote for was for yesterday. It was, uh, of course, it was for Imran Khan, but it wasn't just for Imran Khan. It was for that vision, it's that principle. The people of Pakistan, the growing middle class of Pakistan is asserting itself. Yeah. So in some ways, it's easier to do it in Sin, in some ways, it's more difficult. It's easier because the governance in Sin is absolutely abysmal. And people of Sin are fed up, whether urban or rural. They're all fed up with what they're having to put up with. They've seen the other parts of the country continue to get better and uh, and go past them. Uh, so they're yearning for change. Uh, it's more difficult because uh, particularly in rural sin, there is uh, there is no democracy, there is no rule of law. It's absolutely brutal. Anybody who stands up against PPP uh, tends to get crushed. So that's the challenge. But I think with the wave that is now generated throughout the country, uh, the next the next bastion to of status quo power which is going to fall is this.